Alrighty, let's start today off with a clean sheet of paper, my mechanical pencil, and my kneaded eraser with a piece of hair. That's what you get owning a dog. A little nice little companion, lots of hair. All right, today we are going to draw a bird. We're going to draw some little winter birds, even though we're at the end of the season here. Um, you can apply them to the same way you would draw lots of little summer birds you see also, like little goldfinches and whatnot. Um, just like people, each bird has uh, the anatomy is specific and and so that would be like markings, the shape of the wings, the shape of the body. It's just like doing a portrait of a person. So you want to make sure that you pay attention to those specific things after you get in the main shape. So let's do that first. First, we're going to draw a little chickadee. Make sure that's out far enough. We're going to do a teardrop shape here with a circle for the head. And then we'll do a little tail. Now, chuck a few things in. Get your basic shape going. Now, let's come back and look at. see same thing measure the head against the body so that's one two and a half okay so the height of our little bird's head which we're gonna say is this is two and a half to make our whole bird body so it's gonna be a lot smaller so let's do this we're gonna go one two and a half. Ooh, that's way smaller. Okay, from this angle I want to show you how you can touch the paper while you're drawing without actually um, getting like the graphite smeared all over the page. Uh, you can rest your hand or you can actually use your pinky to kind of prop you up above the page. Measure it out. One, two, and a half. So we need to bring our body back a little bit. So we're going to make it more of a stronger teardrop shape. And that comes up. Like I said, keep an eye on your reference here because this actually comes almost completely up to its face there. And then we'll level that little head off. a lot of little details to be looking for. To get your little bird just so. So. Let's see. Little head is going to go down like this. But right about there. Bring it back and down. Take out those construction lines. You can see it's already starting to get more of a bird shape than what we started out with. Okay, well, let's take that one out because actually those feathers come in like this. Hmm, let's see. 
it's almost halfway. So we're going to say a little past half for feathers, or wings rather. And that little section of tail feathers is about one and a half. So out to there. Okay, now. Let's see. Let's see our little bird. I like a black cap chickadee, so that's what we're doing today. They seem to have an awful lot of attitude, which I find to be a little bit funny for something so small. So, put them in here, and they've got this little spot under the neck. sits right there. So. Now let's go back a little more. Try to get our details here a little stronger. I'm going to drop in branch that he's sitting on just because it's going to make me feel better to have him anchored to something so let's go this is a broken branch just like that and we're going to give him his legs are one is right here see a little foot grabbing back here and then the other one well, let's be right about it. let's measure them that one is about halfway so that one's right there straight down gripping the branch again attention to this shape because he is a little more rounded there and we can check that make sure we got it kind of correct right there and that is don't trust your eyes Go back and measure, 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 because sometimes you can eyeball things and they'll be correct, and then other times they will be way, way off. So make sure you're checking that all the time. Now, don't feel like you have to come in here and detail every little hair or feather, excuse me, every little feather that's on your bird because unless you're doing something that you have that kind of time for, really, you can probably just toss in a few little feathers and that'll be fine. Sometimes it's really nice to go and get lost in all this little feather work and all these little shapes and stuff. And then sometimes it's not. You just drive yourself a little batty working on it. So let's fill this in. I'm just going to put off 
simple. Just darken in all these places that are darker parts of our bird. And just like filling in the hair on your on a portrait model, the more you get these little details filled in, the more it's going to look like that bird that you're drawing. So let's do a few things here. Hmm. Let's check that out. Maybe I've placed the eye in the wrong place. big. You don't really see chickadees eyes unless you're up really really close. So sometimes details just don't make sense because it's something you just don't see. And when you actually go back and fill something in, your mind just doesn't trust that that's correct. But anyway, whoa, throw in my pencil. Now, let's see here. We need to do now. We have a gray for those wings and feathers, so let's just do. I just want to do a simple value the whole thing. Just going to do some cross hatching. blend a little bit here because your bird has more gray than black here. So we're going to do that, spread that around. Come back and darken that up in just a few minutes. Ah, uh, let's see. in with some stronger line work now. Fill in some of these feathers. Now don't go all the way around and get that coloring book look to it. You want to leave some strong lines on some sides and some softer on the others. So cut into this a little with your kneaded eraser. So it looks like feathers. We'll do a couple tiny details on these feathers. leave most of them just like this. <laughs> now, let's come back in and make this a lot darker. But I do want you to see that I'm doing this with a real light hand. I'm not driving the graphite into the paper because I'm not scratching the paper which is you never want to really tear your paper up in case you have to come back and erase that erase it back a little or whatever you're doing instead you want to do this in a 
with a little light pressure. You can really wear your hands out by holding your pencil too tight. And I like to say if you handle your pencil like you would a balloon, you handle it very gently and with a real soft grip instead of an actual death grip type of thing. Because like I said, your hands will get really tired if you're just gripping it for all you have. And that's going to happen anyway. The longer you hold your pencil, the more the more you're going to tighten down on it. So Alright, now let's pop a little value. Well, first get the legs. Come in stronger with that color or that value, excuse me. I think that one is a little too big. Erase that back just a little. sure that looks like it tucks into the feathers right there. All right, let's do a little value on our wood here. And there's some shapes and stuff happening on there. We can pick a few of those up. Same thing with the log here. Let's go dark on one side. Give it some style. And dark in a couple areas, but not all of it. Alright, starting over today. <clears throat> starting over today. What I'm going to do is paint in that part of my chickadee that is driving me a little bit crazy from last night. Uh, the more I looked at it, the more it bothered me. So, what I've done is gotten a little black acrylic paint, and we're going to take this and we're going to just paint in our chickadee's head. Um, if you don't pile this on really heavy, you can do this right on your drawing pad. If you're doing this mixed media paper, it can take the uh, it can take the paint. So let's just fill this in and see if that makes makes that look more like what we're going for. I am all for leaving things when you're finished. Kind of let them percolate and see how you feel about them when you see them again later. And if it still irritates you, try to do something I'm not sure why this bothered me so much, but oh well. I think it's just that, that it was gray. And I'm just so used to seeing these little birds with that black cap. So, we'll see. Again, we're going to leave 
a little white spot there for the highlight. And that little eye is always on these little birds, just kind of tucked in to all that black feather. So let's let's do that. So it stands out a little, but not a lot. touch a few other places and then we'll just leave it alone. Alright, well, anyway, that's a little better. Anyway, 